First year Otago Polytechnic students are supporting local charities and helping residents with intellectual disabilities. The occupational therapy students have just held a ball as one of six planned events and senior lecturer James Sunderland is here to tell us more. Good evening. Good evening. What is this group of students up to? Well, there are around 60 students down here and we do also have a, um, another campus up in Hamilton that runs the same bachelor's program. So in total there's about 100 students. Um, down here in Dunedin, uh, it's one of the beauties of being involved in the Polytech is that we've got a really experiential learning philosophy. So these students have been charged with making a difference in their local community and they've been out there um, taking that theme and organising a number of events really and running with them. Mm. Is it a new initiative? It's not a new initiative, it's probably been going um, for various forms for, for since the school really began. Um, but it has grown a lot in the last few years really. Mm. Tell us about the ball and who it was for. So the ball was for idea services. Uh, so those particular students, um, they knew that there were members of Idea Services that had some ball and dancing that would, they'd been doing in the last wee while. And they thought, well, you know, let's organise a ball. So that idea initially was really big, um, but we ran with it really. Um, and that was one of the benefits of having access to places like the Sargood Centre, which people will know as the old art gallery uh, in Logan Park. So we had free access to that. Uh, the students are given a limited budget that they can use, and um, they really uh, stepped up and made that happen. Mm. Um, yeah, put a lot of hours into um, that event. How many people were involved? Uh, there was 10 students, so each of those groups, you know, 60 divided by uh, 6 is 10 students each. Uh, but they also, because the event got large, uh, drew in some of their other classmates who were involved in doing other events on different nights. So around 15 students, uh, so the 10 core and 5 helpers, uh, around 70 members of Idea Services and about 30 uh, caregivers um, from Idea Services as well. Fabulous. What do you think the guests got from it? I think um, with all of these workshops, it's about providing you know a meaningful, purposeful, normal experience. Yeah. So, um, you know, we we don't look at it as as being therapy. It is just providing something that strengthens that community um, and gives um, everyone uh, that came to the ball a real a night out. I suppose um, the students are also following up, so they've made a record of that night. They had a photo booth on the evening, and they're giving them back um, those photos in a, in a bound photo album as well. And this isn't the only way that your students are helping the community. No, it's not. Uh, so of those six workshops, we had three that had a basis around uh, making products. So each of those groups chose a charity or an organisation. So we had uh, a group that made winter warmers for the Otago Night Shelter. So they made bean bags and wheat bags and you know door stoppers, things to help out um, student flats and whoever else mm. wanted to come to that event. We had uh, people that made candles. Uh, so they ran a candle making workshop that attracted people that wanted to learn that and they sold those candles for profit. We went to the Cancer Society. Mm. Uh, we had people that made dream catchers and those, that money went to autism. And we had a quiz night uh, last Wednesday night for the Otago Physio Pool. Wow. And uh, they had around 90 people came and raised close to $1,000 for that as well. Mm. Gosh, they've been busy. They have been very busy. What are they getting out of it? What are they getting out of it? Um, and I suppose this goes back to being a, a Polytech and saying, look, we don't want just to give you information and to, to get that information back to us in the form of an assessment or an exam or a test. We want you to go out there and, as occupational therapists, really think about, well, your core job there is to provide meaningful, purposeful occupation mm -hmm. for people in their lives that may have had disability or accident. So here's a chance for them to really analyse an event, really plan for success, um, carry it out, problem solve, um, group work with each other. Um, for, so for some of them they come with a lot of experience so they might take a lead, for others it might be about following as well. So yeah, it's, a, it's a very rich learning experience for them. Otago Polytechnic Senior Lecturer James Sunderland, thanks very much for your time. Thank you.